In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the various different ways you can edit your photos in Capture One for iPad. So I've got three pictures here that I'd like to edit. So let's begin by looking at how the interface is arranged. So over on the left hand side, I have different categories of tools. So for example, the first one is simply style ratings and color tags, moving through to styles and presets, shape based tools like rotation and keystone, are simple adjustment tools like exposure, contrast, clarity, the color editor, and so forth. And then finally, refinement based tools like sharpening and noise reduction. So let's begin with this photo uh, and a couple of simple edits. So first of all, I'd like to crop tighter. So by dragging the corners, then I can move my crop boundaries into the photo like so. And then next I'd like to do some basic adjustments. So the way it works is to first pick the adjustment on the left hand side. So I'd like to pull down my highlights so I get some more detail on the clouds. And then using the control wheel, I can either increase the value or decrease the value. So I'd like to see more highlight detail. So I'm gonna decrease that until I get more back into the clouds. I'm also going to add some contrast and also add some clarity. Now, if I want to see what I've done so far to my photo, if I simply long press on the picture, I can see a before and after. And don't forget, we can double tap to see in at 100%. If you'd like to see your picture at full screen, just tap once. And again, the same gestures of before and after work as well. Okay, let's move on to our second photo. For this photo, I'd like to begin by using a style. Now Capture One comes with a number of built-in styles or you can also add your own styles. So I'm going to use a style from our Elevation Range by Paul Reefer. And as this photo was taken during golden hour, I'm going to use uh, this particular style. And you can see the style is applied right away. If I just long press, you can see the before and the after. So let's go ahead and add uh, a few more other adjustments. So as this needs a bit of keystone correction, I will make the, our verticals a little straighter. So let's go for that. And now I'm gonna to go to my adjustment base tools. I'll just reduce the amount of shadow recovery. So it's probably a little bit too much and add a touch more clarity. I think my highlights are okay, uh, but let's pull those down a little bit more too. Let's go ahead and edit our third and final photo. And for this photo, I'll show you an alternative method of using the adjustment tools. So first of all, we need to go into the settings, which are these three dots in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna place the tools on the right hand side. Now, if you're left-handed, you might like to keep them on the left, but as I'm right-handed, this makes more sense for me. And then as an alternative, let's just go to exposure and then contrast. If I long press on the adjustment itself, all I need to do is slide down and you can see the adjustment wheel changing or slide up uh, to change the value of the adjustment. Uh, incidentally, if you want to reset any adjustment, you can just double tap inside the wheel. So let's go ahead and edit this picture. So our long press, I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna add some more contrast. Also some clarity. Now this is a great way also to use an Apple Pencil if you have one. So if I go to my HDR tool, I wanna to bring the highlights down. So I drag the pencil down like so. And I'd also like to open up my shadows a small amount. Let's also have a look at the color editor on this picture. So if I choose the color editor here, you can see if I tap on color, I have the color ranges represented on the left hand side. So I can either tap to choose those or I can use the color picker and then drop that on the color I wish to edit. So I'm gonna make the grass at the front a bit darker so I can drag down. Uh, I'd also like to make it a touch more saturated. 
so I can slide up like so. If I want to undo the last step, I can just tap the icon here at the top, so that will step back once, and that's just reset my saturation. So once again, I can long press and dial in the saturation to the level that I want. For this sequence of four photos, I'd like to copy the adjustments from the first one, this one which has already been edited with a style and some further adjustments to the other three photos. So first of all, I need to copy them to the adjustments clipboard or copy the adjustments to the adjustments clipboard. So if I tap the icon here, I can then choose to modify those adjustments if I wish, but I'm happy for everything to be copied across. Now all I need to do is select uh, the final three pictures. So if I tap select here and then choose the three pictures that I want to copy the adjustments to, and then finish off by tapping the paste button in the bottom right hand corner. And now these three pictures have exactly the same adjustments as the first one.